In this video, I will talk about the Facebook Pixel. Chances are you have an older version of the Facebook Pixel that was plenty good for what you were doing before, but once you start adding e-commerce, you may want to use a specific plugin that does a bit more. It would technically allow you to connect your WooCommerce store to your Facebook page or the marketplace if you sell physical items. You cannot sell ebooks on Facebook's marketplace or audiobooks. It needs to be physical items. If you want to get more information from Facebook, there's two things to consider. First of all, do you already have your Facebook pixel installed somewhere on your site? The way to know that, look below this video for a link from Facebook that explains how to install the Chrome extension. Once you've installed it, it will let you know and then you will see your pixel number. So for me, because I'm running the Parallax for Writers theme, I can go to the back end and I will show you where that pixel code is. If I go all the way down near the bottom here to Options, there is tracking information. If I expand this box, the Facebook pixel is in here. So there's only the Facebook pixel in here. This is just a comment that tells me that the code is starting. This is the actual pixel code. And then this is another comment telling me that the code is over. It's possible you will have multiple things in here. You could have the Google Analytics tracking in the top. So I'm just pointing this out here that typically Facebook will not let you have two ways of adding the pixel when you are about to add the Facebook for WooCommerce. So I will leave it there, see if it warns me. So the Facebook for WooCommerce is a plugin. I've already installed it. It is here, Facebook for WooCommerce. If you don't have it, you can just add new, look for it, and then you can install it and then activate it. As you will see, it's got very bad reviews. It's because it's a glitchy plugin. But if you want to sell on Facebook's Marketplace, this is the official one. So once you've installed the Facebook plugin and activated it, on the left, you will see it, there's a marketing area, and this is where Facebook for WooCommerce is connected. Now it's telling me that I can get started, or you may see a warning saying that it's not connected. I'm just going to click that button. Now it's logging me in to my Facebook. I'm going to continue as myself. And I can decide what I want to do or not. I'm not on Instagram, so I'm going to say no. I only have ebooks for sale on this shop, so I'm going to turn I'm going to leave this on, but technically I will have to disable some connection later. So play with those settings as you see fit. Then do get started. Now at this point, it will ask you which one of your Facebook business accounts you want to connect to. Once you've selected this, it will ask you which site you want to connect to. Find the site that matches the site that you're working on. Hit continue. You can rename your catalog. And it's going to create a brand new one because I've never created one before. Now it's going to ask me which pixel to use. This is the pixel here for this pen name. And now I'm confirming everything. You can go through the advanced options if you want. I'm just going to click continue. And as it is warning you here on this page, if you disable some of these the WooCommerce integration will not work. And believe me, I've gone through this several times with different authors. The error messages are totally useless. So do keep these default options if you want to be able to install it correctly. Typically, this is where it would warn me. I already have a pixel, but it did not. So that's fine. I'm just going to hit continue. And it says I'm all set. So I'm going to click done. And I've just authenticated Facebook. So that's great. That's the site I tried to do it for. I'm going to ask to be redirected. 
Okay, so I see it here and I see that this is the pixel. Now I know the pixel is included through this. I'm just going to get rid of the extra Facebook pixel that I have manually included through my tracking options. So I'm just going to delete this pixel from here and click update. If you have WordFence installed, it's possible it will warn you about a potential security warning here. It's just because there's JavaScript in here. That's the only reason. If uh, you're seeing this, just whitelist this action, repeat it a few times until it lets you save it. So now if I go back to the front end of my site and I reload, I see that my Facebook pixel is still active, even though I've removed the extra manual installation. Now I mentioned something about the marketplace and them not allowing you to sell digital products on their marketplace. So in order to unsync that and you'll get error messages from Facebook telling you you're not allowed to sell those things. If you go to marketing, Facebook again, product sync. This is where I'm going to exclude categories from syncing. And right now I've got eBooks. I'm going to exclude all of my eBooks by doing that. You could also disable sync entirely. Like in my case, since I have no products right now that are physical, I'm just going to disable the sync entirely and then save my changes. If you don't have product categories yet, that's okay. You can go to your list of products here and then click on categories and then create a new one right now. You could create it calling it virtual or ebook or audiobook, whatever you decide to add as a category. Click add new category at the bottom. And then when you look at all of your products, if you've already got products, you can quick edit a bunch of them. So you can manually select, okay, those are whatever the new category is. You can bulk action edit, click apply, and then you can select that category for all of those products that you want to exclude from Facebook. And then you need to hit update. When you do that, it will take a minute or maybe longer, depending on how many products need to be updated. And then you can go back to your marketing Facebook and exclude that new category through the product sync tab. So first you need to enable it and then you can select it from here and then save your changes. And note this button does not always work. So if you refresh control R or use the arrow in your browser, repeat, or sometimes you need to first enable this, allow it to be enabled, then exclude a category. It's not letting me save it here because I've excluded all of my products. So in my case, I need to disable the product sync because I'm trying to exclude all of my products, which is pointless. And like I said, this plugin is glitchy. Best of luck. So this is it for the Facebook Pixel.